All right, time for some more lube. Last time I talked about music as a lube for discipline, of course. Uh, this time I'm going to talk about routine or habit, whatever you want to call it. Now, when I talk about these lubrications for lube for discipline, you still have to have the discipline. If you lack the music or if you lack the routine, you still have to have the discipline to actually get what you're trying to do done. But this, it helps. So as usual, I, I only speak about things that I know about personally. So in my example, for some bullshit reason, I cannot go to the gym when I want to next week. So what I'm gonna have to do is work out at home, which I don't really like to do, but since I have the discipline, I'm going to because I have to, right? But I'm, I'm breaking from the routine that I usually have, which means that there's a bit of friction to it. Again, I'm still gonna do it because I, I have to, because I said so. But that lack of a routine is gonna make it a little more challenging. So what helps a lot is having a kind of process that you follow. And in that process, it always ends up with you doing what you're planning to do. For example, again, with, with the, the, the gym stuff, my process, my routine is always go to this location, put on a certain set of clothing, put on the headphones in, and it's time to go. When that happens, what follows is always the same. I am exercising, and that's it. It's going to happen after I do the routine. Always, always. Now, in this case, when I can't do this, I have to break from the routine, so then I have to kind of use my discipline to push myself every step of the way because part of that routine is missing. So it's tougher. It's not that the lack of routine hurts, it's more like I don't get that, that help, if that makes sense. So it can still be done, but it's just not going to be as smooth as it could be. You know, I don't have that lube. Another example would be... Another example from my own past is studying for something, educating. So if you're needing to read something, get on the computer, study something, some kind of course, some kind of subject that you're learning about, um, what you can do is, you know, do a routine. Turn off the TV, change the lighting if you have a smart light or whatever, change your location, and then go. For example, if I'm reading something, I can just read it lying on the floor, I guess, but my usual routine is I go to the living room and I sit in a specific chair and I read. That's part of the routine, so it makes it easier for me to do it. If I need to read, I'm gonna read wherever, I'm, I'm, wherever I have to. But if I have that routine, it makes it a lot easier just to get comfortable and, and slide into what I need to do. It removes the friction. That's what lube does, right? I, I regret using this this word for this, but this applies to anything. Just make a process, make a routine for what you want to do, and in that routine, make the end result you doing what you need to do. Set it up so it's easier for you. All right. Don't make it so difficult and change it up all the damn time. I'm not saying don't be flexible to changing how you accomplish a certain thing, but if you can, if you can make the factors as similar as possible every time, it'll become more second nature to you. And then eventually it doesn't matter that much if things need to change or what have you, you can still do it because you've built up that discipline to a level where you don't need anything to help you at all, you know? But Regardless, it always helps if you have a similar set of circumstances leading up to you doing what you're planning to do. So think of what you want to do. Think of what is the most comfortable environment or scenario to get you there and try to make that consistent if you can. This can also apply in reverse too. If you have a habit that you do that's not good necessarily, let's say you get home from work and you go straight to YouTube, well, if you want, if you don't like that, you can change that habit, get home from work, take the controller or whatever and move it somewhere else. Or even before you go to work, just hide the controller somewhere, whatever. So that 
it, it creates more friction. And, and in this is in this case, it's something you don't want to do. So it'll be easier to just not do it. Where in the case of, of something you do want to do, the extra friction will make it maybe a little more frustrating, but you're still going to do it because you have the discipline to know that you got to do it. If it's a habit you don't want to do, creating friction also helps you move away from it. So it can work both ways. But yeah, if you want to do something, make it as easy for yourself as possible. Remove the friction, lube up 